Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to Drum Rulo, please. This is the uh, personal YouTube channel of Jason Rulo, and I am a friend of his, Rosalinda Roman. I go by Rosalinda, and I'm just here to basically help you guys get to talk with Jason because he's running around and I happen to know how to uh, run the switcher. So without further ado, I am going to bring you uh, the person you came to see, Jason Rulo. Hey, Jason. Hey, Rosalinda. How are you today? I'm really good. Uh, I, the question I always want to ask you is, where are you today? <laughs> today we're at the Agora, the Agora Ballroom in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, awesome. Okay. It, and you're actually, we're live at the actual venue this time, which is kind yeah. of fun for our, our viewers. So tell me about what the Agora is like. Kind of, sh Can you show us around a little bit? Yeah, the Agora is kind of a cool place. Actually, there's a lot of history here. Everybody you can think of has played here. I'm in merch world right now. That's our merchandiser extraordinaire, Robin, over there setting up our stuff and kind of walking through the venue a little bit. It kind of has that historic ballroom type of vibe. That's Seems awesome. Kind of, kind of old school. And the room okay, itself so is pretty nice to bring into the main hall here. Okay, and I'm going to ask you to move move really slowly because mm. the video has to catch up to you yeah, yeah. so oh yeah there you go that's nice that's can you uh do one more pan slowly so we can see it yeah oh that's awesome so this is now where are you standing in kind of the entry area yeah i'm kind of i'm gonna go back out into the foyer here okay the entryway yeah. yeah it has this cool awesome. old vibe to it old chandeliers and whatnot oh so. that's awesome that's great. Lots That's of so people great. Play, I, play when you're leaving. Yeah, you you yeah. definitely um, you up on stage. Okay, that's awesome. So, and let me pull my, I'll, I'll come on as well. You can hear it's kind of cutting in and out, you guys, but that's because he's live, as I said, and um, this is an active venue. The reason we kind of asked Jason if he wouldn't mind really taking us in to show you uh, what it's like before a show. Um, uh, what? How many hours before you actually go live on stage? Let's see. Uh, tonight we go on, I think, 9.30, so I don't even know what time it is. It's probably about 2.30 <laughs> so. Okay. So, yeah, so, we, we load in here around between 11 and 1 every day. The guys start loading in and drop the gear and get set up and walk you through the catacombs here. Okay. To the side stage uh, is what it looks like here. So is that kind of where you wait and then you come out from there? Mm -hmm. We'll be backstage. We have uh, here's the kit today. Oh my gosh, that is awesome! And what am I hearing? You're hearing guys just kind of tune up and noodle around. Everybody's tweaking gear. That's the opening band back there trying to set up his drums in the corners. Oh my gosh, how exciting! And the dressing rooms today. Nothing too crazy. See what these guys are up to in here. Better make sure everybody's dressed. <laughs> All right. Although I'm sure there's some fans that wouldn't mind if they weren't dressed. Right. But, um, <laughs> this is Alexi. This is our sound man. Hey, how are you? Hey, Alexi. How are you? He comes all the way from Greece to make us sound good. Somebody's got to try and do that. And uh, that yeah, awesome. so this is kind of this is where we hang out before the show, of course. Either here or the is... bus. And uh, yeah. Another day. <laughs> it's so it's so old hat and normal to you, but like mm -hmm. I, I've got lots of people in the chat uh, commenting how cool this is. Uh, let's see, we got uh, drums for metal says, "Oh, cool." We've got uh, Mahmoud, I think says, "I'm going blind, so I'm going to put my granny glasses on." Sorry, guys. Mahmoud L Arch uh, says, "Awesome." Uh, Jose Otarola says, when are they coming to Chile? <laughs> oh, there's Famous somebody. Michael Pinella here. Let me, hey. let me show you a full screen. Wow, you're live on Hi. YouTube, Pete. Hey. There he is, the maestro. Tickling the ivories like no one else can. Here's my kit today. Oh, my goodness. What a treat. 
Hey, you guys, uh, those of you in the chat, you gotta, you gotta send some comments, man. Jason's showing us, he's taking in the, us behind the scenes. That is awesome. I've never actually been on stage before a show like this. So that's yeah. pretty awesome. Yeah, that's like so I said, great. I guess for us, it's just another day at work, but uh, the, the behind the scenes, things that people don't get to normally see, so yeah. That's really cool. cool. All right, we got uh, Naju says, uh, great seeing some more social media stuff from you guys, feeling the love. So yeah, it's really nice. it's really a cool thing that you get to, you know, that with this technology, we can check in, um, you know, directly with the fans. That's pretty awesome. A lot yeah, of people absolutely. saying beautiful. Um, KCG asked, uh, says, hi, Jason, is that your personal kit? That's a good question. Yes, it is. Those are my personal drums made by Tama. Uh, it's a one of a kind kit. It's a Bubinga kit with a lacquer pearl finish. It's a painted finish. And it picks up all the light. So whatever colors hit it, it really refracts it beautifully and sounds amazing. So yeah, love that kit. Well, and I think your fans love that you have that kit. I, I've seen all the comments in YouTube and um, it's people are really enjoying having that. It's a very different vibe because, I mean, you've been out on the road for years and years. Uh, I forget how many years you said the band's been together. Uh, 27 how many years now. is it? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So you've been out there, but to be able to kind of interact directly with the fans this way, it's really a, a cool, unique experience. It is. I'm a very private person, so this is all kind of new for me. You know, I always like to kind of keep everything under wraps and stuff. But uh, this is fun, and I'm actually enjoying this. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep doing this and see what else, other fun things we can throw up here. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I've got uh, a couple more comments, and then actually I'm the one that has to leave today. Uh, you got a few more hours, but I've got some things i got to do. So real quickly, um, Mahmood, who tells us he's from – he or she, I guess he is from um, – uh, Morocco says 2020 and 2021 were awful years for live bands. I'm really glad to see more Symphony X live. And again, Jose Otarola uh, reiterated, when are they coming to Chile? I think he asks that a few times. So, well, we're, we idea? are coming to Chile. Yeah, we have a date. So I think it's early August. Yeah, if you just look on the Symphony X website. Uh, yeah, and we by have... the way, I was just going to say, we put the Brazil link in the, yeah. in the show notes. The link is in there. So hopefully if cool. they scroll down on YouTube, they'll be able to find those yes. dates. We are on our way to Chile, end of July, mm -hmm. early August. That is so exciting. Um, yeah. And then let's see what else we got. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Jason, do you all contribute to create the set list? How do you decide what songs you'll play? That's a good question. And that's a big part of rehearsal. Uh, we all do decide we kind of all talk about it can you still hear me over that guitar yep yep we hear you that's fine right. <laughs> um yeah that that's kind of the whole first like half of rehearsals is we basically we kind of figure out what songs we're gonna play for the most part and we have about four to five extras in there and so we kick them around we try to make a set list that really flows it's really about the show and we want to take you on a journey when you come see the band so everything has to go together and just feel right in the set and that's how we end up narrowing it down and figuring out what really feels right, what what really fits. We try to play stuff that we haven't played as much. Sometimes we'll play something really obscure. So let's try this or that. But then it, it just doesn't really feel great in rehearsal. And sometimes you go, I don't know. The song, the song just doesn't have that magic that we're looking for, or the you know the vibe that we're looking for. So it's really putting that flow together, that kind of roller coaster ride that we want to take you on when you come see the band. So we all do that together. Um, and yeah, I said we narrow it down with each rehearsal. We were about five or six rehearsals in before we finally really nailed the set list down that we were going to do. So, yep, it's quite a process. It sounds like quite a process. Okay, so uh, we got a few more comments. Uh, Michael Clonin says, so glad I found this and come play Ireland, he says. If you play uh, Ireland, I want to go. <laughs> I love, I've never been, but I did love Scotland, so I'm, I want to go to their neighboring. Yeah, we would love to get back uh, there. 
I bet you would. Yeah, you guys have been there many times. Uh, okay, and also Igor Frieta says, Jason, please help convince Romeo to record a DVD. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's something we, we get a lot of that. Um, and yeah, I do. give you the same answer we always do. And it's really just about doing it right. So when we feel like we can do it right, and put out the quality that we want, then we'll we'll do that. And it's something we keep talking about. Um, there's going to be a lot more video and stuff from this tour, but it'll be more like, you know, home style footage. It'll be decent quality. But as far as really doing a proper DVD, I mean, we have a lot of great ideas for that. And some productions are, you know, more out of reach than others. So it's just the reality of what we can swing and that kind of stuff. But uh appreciate the thoughts and we're definitely we're definitely aware of that and that that's a thing we need to do now especially in this video age we've kind of been a band who's just kind of done our own thing and managed to maintain ourselves just by playing live shows and stuff but uh we are aware that we're in the video age and we need to kind of get with that so yeah we're discussing that trying to figure out how to how to remedy that well, and I, I, just as someone who knows you, I think that you um, really are out there with the fans and you're doing, the, the fact that you are um, connecting and you play live is a really, it's what makes people love you. And I'm gonna wrap this up with this comment, which is relevant. Um, Arrow Char says, hi, Jason. I've been a fan of Symphony X since I was 12 plus 20 years ago, and your music has had a major influence. And so to your point, um, you are connecting one-on-one um, -on -one with all of these folks. So how cool that we have the technology to do this. Um, I'm gonna leave you with the last word before we gotta wrap it up. Cool, well, I appreciate that. That's a, a really nice thing to have these fans who've been with us for decades, some of them. Uh, it really means everything to us to be out here and to, yeah, to reconnect for us. That's where we get to feel that, you know, obviously on stage and, um, you know, the reaction to the music. So it's, it's really magical being out here again and just awesome to, to reconnect with the fans. And yeah, I mean, thank you all so much for your support and we'll keep giving, uh, giving you our all. Thanks for all checking right. out our, our, our deal here. Yeah. Thank you, Jason, for making the time again. We're going to try to do one more uh, this week. So at least one more. We'll see how our your schedule and mine uh, coincide. So thank you all for joining us and have a great show tonight, Jason. And all right. Cleveland. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everybody. Bye, Bye. everybody.